Welcome back, guys, to the year's series. Current year is 2023. So we have all brand new equipment, and it is June 3rd. We got all of our crops planned. We have a little more spraying to do, and currently we're demoing this Case IH Patriot 350, which is one of their brand new models coming out. It's got 120 foot booms, but first, actually, we're gonna head on down to Prairie State and buy a combine. I'm gonna check their website and see what combines they got in their lot quick. Pretty soon, we're gonna be getting a whole new desk and a PC. It's a desk with a PC inside of it. Okay, so we got combine selection. It looks like they got some S770s, 780s. I wouldn't mind getting like a 70 series combine, like a little bit older. What else they got? 2020s, they got an S780. These are getting a little cheaper in our price range. 369, 345, power fold hoppers. Now they do have a 2010 S9770 STS that we could buy at the dealer too. And that's exactly what we have right now. Then we have two of them. So we'll probably head on to, down to Prairie State. I got to finish spraying one field of soybeans quick. And then we'll head down there and annoy our best friend, Buck. Okay, so we got her unfolded. We are going to start knocking her out here. Got to turn on the sprayer. Oh my gosh. I forgot. It's got... Oh, this is not going to be the right term, but it's got C and spray technology, and I think that's deer patented, so it's probably a different term, but it's got the stuff where once it sees a weed, it just sprays it and releases a little liquid. When you go slow, you can see the liquid like spraying, but then when you go really fast, it just disappears and you can't see any more liquid. We are doing 16 mile an hour with a sprayer. We are going to get this done extremely fast. And so this is soybeans. So when you do soybeans, like you can pretty much drive wherever in the field. It really doesn't matter too much. And we got Nate. Nate's demoing me the sprayer actually. And he has a deer sprayer he also runs. So he's gonna run it in the field. And we're gonna we're gonna see what we like better. What is this like a R forty nine forty something? Uh, R forty nine forty. Yep, she is perfectly primed. I bought her from Uncle Buck, and if anything's wrong with it, complain to Uncle Buck about it. Sounds good. So this one's chemical just like goes all the time. It's not like, it doesn't have the sea and spray stuff like the case does. But what's nice about this sprayer is it does 20 mile an hour across the field. And I'm gonna let Nate get the other end rows over there and I'll cut up here. It's working good. We got a 4640 display down. Actually, that's a 2630 display. I got a 2630 display down there. Nate, I'm just spraying on a diagonal pretty much, kind of this angle. We're spraying at like a 150 degree heading. So kind of like Southeast-ish. Okay, we are done with that field already. And she's folded up. Okay, so it is now July 3rd. And you know what they say about July 4th, knee high by the 4th of July. And I think we beat that. Our corn has tasseled already. We're actually gonna get kind of prepared for harvest here. And we may actually start harvesting this video, but we have a case magnum. Now, don't get me wrong. I love case IH stuff, but I also love all my stuff to be color coordinated. We are going to sell the 8950. It's been a great tractor, like literally no problems with this thing. And I love this thing, but we need kind of some more money for a combine. So we're going to sell the 8950. And we're also going to sell the case planner because we now have two DB60s. We're totally fine. We can cover enough acres. This has honestly been one of my favorite tractors though. And it's going to be tough selling this thing. And I probably should just sell a new John Deere tractor, but... This thing, it's like all of our equipment's getting too big and we're running too many acres where we kind of have to start selling some of the smaller stuff. Besides for the 4020 and the 1206 we just bought. Those are always gonna stay around. Okay, Magnum's all cleaned up. Now we'll pull out the planter. And here we go. We got a mess to move all this stuff out. So the planter is back there behind the grain cart. Actually, if we just pull the grain cart out, we'll be fine. Now, the question is, what tractor do we use for the grain cart? We got the 9630T, we got the 9530, that has a PTO, 9630 is a PTO, and we have the 9430T, which also has a PTO. We are gonna try and move this grain cart out. 1300 bushel grain cart empty with a John Deere Model A. There we go, not bad at all. Oh, she's sliding a bit, come on, hold up. Come on, come on. Okay, we got her going. I'm just gonna pull her out. The, the issue is it's tough turning. And once you get this thing sideways, it just doesn't go. Okay, we are gonna try and sell this thing at the John Deere dealership because I need to trade in for a different combine. So hopefully I can get good trade in value for this setup and then walk away out of here with a combine without putting too much money down. What is this sign they must have just put up along the roadway? Oh yeah, American farming, yo. You see that American farming sign up the road? I know, it's the best looking billboard out there. Yeah, you get in the game? What you, yeah, yeah, I definitely am. What you doing with that? 
Oh, uh, well, okay, hear me out. I gotta trade this in for a combine, okay? I went to your combine, but I got case equipment that I gotta trade in. So I'm gonna try and trade this in with Buck. And I know, I know you're like, well, why don't you trade it in with me? We'll see what Buck offers and maybe I'll trade it in with you. You know, if Buck shoots me a, a bad offer, then you gotta come in and give me a good offer. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that this time. You're gonna go trade in the case I, the beautiful case I asked equipment that I pulled strings to get you for a John Deere, I see. Love it, you're slow. <laughs> well, good morning, you two. How may I be of assistance to you today? I'm actually trying to be nicer now. I'm a very happy person. Brother, what are we doing? I'm here to buy a combine. Here? Do you have any money? A little bit. I've got I've got that red thing. How much How much is a little bit right now without that red thing? Because I don't want the red thing on my lot. $72,354.69. Hold on, you have what now? That's how much money I have. No, say it again. $72,354.69. You know, you're just under $600 short of a good time. So that ninety-seven seventy right now we have listed for $72,900. Uh, eh, $72, how many hours? 3800 on the uh, engine, 2900 <laughs> on the separator. Oh, that's a lot of hours for a used combine, man. There have been a lot of... A lot of bushels ran through this scene with that many hey, hours. If, you, if that's all, if that's the if that's the amount of money you got, this is what I can offer you. I'm telling you right now, if you don't want to have to owe anybody anything, you can walk away right now with this thing in hand. I could even break you a deal. I might give it to you for 70. It's a two-wheel let drive me, combine. Let me jump in, let me has, jump in a, it quick. It has a mower okay. extension on top of it. It's got a uh, Green Star 3000. It's a Premier cab. Green Star comes with it? Yes, it's got a 3,000 globe, 3,000, it's got a yield monitor in it. I think the guy put LEDs in there, so it's a little bit better lighting on it. You got 30 inch spacings of 52085 tires. Like I said, it is not four wheel drive with the rear wheel assist, so that's about the only problem. It yeah, does the have a little a short. shorter. Yeah. That's going to be the only yeah, downside. You can't run too big a bean head on it, but. Okay, no. that should work. Hey. You got yourself a deal. 72K, Buck. Well, do you have a header for it? Because this doesn't come with a header. No, I need to buy a header. What will you trade in this 8950 with 4,000 hours? I'm talking, I seen one go on this year in auction sales the other day, like 2,000 hours. It sold for like over 100K. Okay, keep that in mind. We got this 8950, and then we got this case planner 2150 with under 500 acres on it, Buck. This thing is pretty much brand new. She's just broken in. I mean, it's, it's better than new. It's just, you know, everything's adjusted perfect, ready to roll. It's no offense to you. I'll give you your market value, but I don't really want red on the lot because it's not uh, what we generally work on for parts. It would be more expensive for us to look, especially into the tractor. I can give you what you say this thing's probably worth, Nate. Around one fifty. Uh, I think you said two fifty. I know the, the planner is going to be where your money's coming from, not the tractor. The, the, no, the tractor's worth by itself. What I remember at the Case IH dealer, it'll be worth around the fifty thousand range with mm. four thousand hours on it. Four thousand hours. Yeah, just what you said. Clean as can be. That that's. It don't matter. That's four thousand hours. But at the end of the day, that's also kind of. Buck's got to make money. I'm gonna work with Uncle Buck on this one. But you know, I mean, wear on the tires because I don't know. Do these things have a bunch of dry rod on them? Nope. Oh no. Well, brand new firestones. Look at that. Not even a speck of rust on her, Buck. It wasn't even brand on gravel at all. Maybe sixty thousand, which you can get for the tractor grand. I've driven then... this tractor planting. <laughs> it's nothing special. What it looks like we're going to be doing here is I'm going to be working with Nate on doing a uh, more or less trade swap deal. Yeah, that's I can what I figured. You, so I Nate's can give gonna, you one. Yeah. Well, well, it's, it's going to be a lot harder for us to move that piece of equipment on our lot. So I can't really give you nearly as much. I, I can gift you about 190000 for the pair. For the pair? For the pair? Yeah. The planner's worth hundred ninety k. That's what I can give you. What do you estimate the tractor to be worth? You said forty k. About 50 What will you give me for the planner? Just the planner. Just the planner, 190 Deal. Get yourself a deal. Tractor, what are you going to do with that? I'm going to keep it. You're going to keep it? Okay. For 40k, I'm keeping that thing. By the looks of your finances on what you're going to want to do, if you just want to use that entire planner to basically to get the wash on the combine, you could do that right now. You could pretty much walk out of here and I pay you $110,000. Yep, that's what we'll do. 120 Yeah, uh, is that all that you want to do? Yeah, I'm going to look okay. on Facebook for a used, uh, probably used header and bean head. Okay, believe it or not, 
There's our cash. We got 120 grand and we got a combine. We did trade off that planner, but we kept the 8950 Magnum because they're going to be way too low a price. That thing's worth a lot more. Just keep around the farm. I love that. I like that. I don't love it. I like that tractor. And if you look at the hour meter down below, right below the speedometer, you guys can see this thing has 3881 for hours on it. 3,881 hours which is crazy. It's a high hard machine, but as long as we take care of it, it's a 9770, and these things are known to be pretty darn reliable combines. And on top of that, this combine comes with a 4640 display and a John Deere 3000 globe, which is like, you know, $10,000 alone. Okay, we are gonna do some more shuffling now that we got the combines here because we got a lot of stuff. Also, if I had the money, well, we do have the money, but we should probably get another semi. That'll do. I'm gonna get this combine as close as possible back here without slamming the roof, or sl sl yeah, slamming the roof into my auger. No, slamming the auger into my roof. There we go. Okay, so one thing we did is on Facebook. There's a local neighbor around here. I've 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 known of the guy, but I haven't known him. If you know what I mean. Just knew of the guy. Knew he farmed around here, but he had a 35 foot header on for sale on Facebook for 35 grand. It was a 35 foot um, bean head. It's just like a 635F. So pretty standard, not as nice as this, but we are gonna run that on our second combine. So what I'm gonna do is hook up to this combine. I really don't wanna spend the money on a second header trailer. So we're just gonna use the header trailer we have now and go pick up that bean head. Actually, never mind. We're gonna buy this Demco header trailer. This is gonna work good. I didn't know we had this even. Okay, we just picked up the 635F, which is an older head, but it'll work just fine. And then we have a Demco trailer that we bought for extra that was seven grand. And then on top of that, I actually bought another Demco trailer that's like a 43 footer that's gonna be for our John Deere head, for the 45X head that we have now. Okay, so Buck's bringing the Magnum and the other header trailer. I actually bought the header trailer brand new from Deer, so he's bringing that on down. We're just gonna park this here. We're gonna park both headers outside for now. And there is Rental Man Buck pulling up. I gotta figure out, I got a better place to park some of these older tractors that we don't use as much. We're gonna park them in the shop back here. Come on, let me just snap a picture of you sitting in a case tractor and send it to Marty. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Maybe I should have bought a bigger trailer. Son of a gun, she's gonna be hanging off a little bit. Okay, we are gonna get the 9430 connected to the Kinsey. That is gonna be hooked up. And gosh, we're close to ready for harvest. Okay, so we are heading down to Big Nate's tractor and auto, and I actually had him on a mission, and he pieced together a Kenworth Semi, because I want one like identical to what we have, and then he pieced together a Tempty grain trailer that we're gonna use too. So we're gonna have two pretty much exact grain, grain trailers and semis, that'll work good. So we're rolling down to Big Nate's, and I already wrote the check to him, so he's got everything. All we need to do is pick this thing up. It was, uh, I think I spent like 60 or 70 grand total between the truck and trailer. And Nate the Great's outside, ready to roll. How's it going? Good. Can't believe you pieced her together that quick. Well, it was a challenge. I had to find somebody that was able to get me the Kenworth, but we had the trailer already. Gotcha. Here's the keys, and here's the title. That's all you need. You're good to go. Gosh dang, that was too easy. I didn't have any stress, Nate. Usually you have stress in this stuff. Now, they're stressed, just you didn't have to deal with it. <laughs> okay, perfect. We are going to get our way on down the road, back to the farm, get this truck lined up, and then we are going to be ready to go for harvest, pretty much. I mean, it's slow and easy in August, and that's what it is, farming. Just sitting around, waiting for uh, waiting for harvest. Okay, and we are back to the farm. Now i got to figure out a spot to park this thing. I was hoping to park it next to the other semi, but we'll just park it in the yard for now. It's all good. Or actually, I'll pull it under the bin site. That'll work. There we go. Perfect. I mean, we are pretty much all set for harvest. So we're going to, I think, start soybean harvest next video as long as the beans are ready come September, October-ish. But that's the plan for now. Thanks for watching this one, guys. And hey, we'll see you in the next one.